Welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at how to connect with Bluetooth low energy devices from the Linux operating system, in my case Ubuntu, and using the command line. So let's have a look at what we're going to be doing today. We're running the latest version of Bluetooth, how to make sure that your Bluetooth daemon is running, a deprecated tool called the HCI tool, just a quick look, uh, Bluetooth CTL command, which is the recommended one, and I'm going to be connecting to three different devices, my heart rate monitor, cadence monitor, and my bicycle smart trainer called the Kicker Core. Thank you for watching this video. Have you pushed the subscribe button yet uh, to get more content like this? Remember to leave a comment, like the video, and share it with your friends. So step number one, are you running the latest version of Bluetooth? Okay, so let's have a look at how this video is going to be recording, but we're going to do a pseudo happy to get update just to make sure we've got the latest links to all the packages. And then we're going to do a pseudo apt get install blues, which is the Bluetooth stack on Linux. And you can see I'm on the latest version. Okay, so what we usually do is we run system control and we're just going to do a status on our Bluetooth service. You can see it's running. Um, it's also possible to do a stop and a start, but as you shall see now, if we stop it, we're possibly going to get a little notification from Ubuntu. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. And let's just start it again. And then we can just look at the status again. So it's up and running and we can move to the next section. Okay, so we are going to be connecting to a Wahoo heart rate monitor. It's a chest strap. So it's a little strap that goes around your body and uh, then it measures your heart rate. We're gonna use the HCI tool first. So we're just gonna do a quick test to see if we see the device. Uh, so let me just put the strap on and we can get going. So the HCI tool, well, let's just run it as super user. And if we just run it, it'll give us a bunch of options. I think the one for low energy is this LE scan is the one we want to do. So let's have a look. And there we have the guy that we want to be connecting to. It's this one, I'm actually going to be using this uh, ID uh, when I connect to it. I'm not going to do a lot more with the HCI tool. Uh, there's obviously, because it's deprecated, it's, it's not really worth spending much more time on it. But let's move on to the next tool. Okay, so we're going to be using the Bluetooth uh, CTL command. And of course, the first one device that we're going to be connecting to is the heart rate monitor. So let's run the Bluetooth CTL command and we can type help to get a list of commands. What we would like to do is scan for devices. So there we go. So we just type scan on. Let's just see what we get back. Yes, of course, the one that I'm looking at is this ED um, 1CEC 2428-5D. That is the heart rate monitor, uh, if you remember from the, the HI tool. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to go connect to it. Let's see if it wants to connect. There we go, you can see ticker 2966. What I'm gonna do then is type help again, ah, sorry, help again. 
and we're going to go to the GAT menu. So you go menu GAT and sorry, help. And then we want to list the attributes. And then let's just see what comes back. So there's a whole bunch of attributes coming back. Now, you now have to have a little bit of experience with the actual device that you want to go through, else you're going to have to go look at potentially quite a large number of these. But it's quite simple from this that if we look down the list, there's a generic attribute, service change, client characteristics, device information, firmware, vendor specific stuff. Uh, let's just scroll down. And we get here this heart rate and then there's heart rate measurement. And so the one we want to be looking at is this guy. So I'm just going to copy him and let's just go help again. And then we can do select attribute and put that guy in there. And then I think we can go notify on. And let's just see what happens. Ah, there we go. And this is a um, byte array that's being presented with my heart rate, but this is exactly what we wanted to see. So it's quite simple to get data back from a Bluetooth Alley device like a heart rate monitor using this command line. Tool. So next we're going to look at my little Wahoo cadence sensor. Okay, so let's connect to the cadence sensor. Scan on. Let's just give it a minute to find everything. The one we're looking for is this F6. Now there's a couple of ways to get to that. If we do the HCI tool, you will see the same number come up there, the F6. So that's how I know it's there and then there's yet a third way to look and if you click on your Bluetooth uh, icon uh, on your desktop you'll see the cadence sensor addresses there as well so there's a couple of ways to get to it but we're using the Bluetooth um, control and then we can go scan on And it'll take a moment for it to display. Okay, so the one we want to connect to is this one. Then we can say connect. Let's just have a look. And the connection was successful and we can switch the scan off and then we can go help and we are going to go menu get again and list attributes and when we've done the list attributes you have to kind of go through all of them uh, let's just go from the bottom up this time device um, in your specific stuff. Oh, and it's usually this measurement one. So we will do select attribute and then notify on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate this thing turning around like when we're cycling. And you'll see the values changing there. Quite a lot of fun. Okay, and then we can say notify off. And then we can just exit from here and that's us. Okay, so the last one is the kicker core. Okay, and now the last guy we're gonna connect to is this Wahoo kicker, a smart trainer. Uh, it's got a flywheel. And you can set the resistance. You can also um, measure a couple of things, but just, we're just going to look at the basics. So for this part of the exercise, I've just opened the fitness machine spec 
I will add a link to this document in the description. I've also used it in uh, the C Shop video for Windows that I connected to the device. But basically, we will be writing an opcode to request control and then reset it and then set the target resistance value, which can go from 0 to 100. But let's connect to the kicker. So scan on. It's this CC device. So let's just connect. If I can spell. And then we can say scan off. Menu get list attributes. And the one we want to be looking for is this fitness machine control point. It takes a bit of time to figure out which one it is. So we can just say select attribute. There we go. And now there's another command called attribute info. And this will kind of give us an idea if we're doing the correct thing. So you can see we can write to this attribute. And what we're going to be go to do is we're also going to notify on it. So we're going to say notify on so we get results from it. And then we can say write and we request control. And that 80 means it's successful. And then we can reset the device and then we can set. And if you're on the right multiple bytes, it needs to be in quotes. And if we go 0 x 64, which is 100, which is the maximum that we can go, then we can have a look at the resistance. So here we have the kicker. I can start moving it. But as soon as I start moving it a bit, the resistance kicks in. It's hardly impossible. It's almost impossible to move it. And I'm going to quickly set the resistance uh, to a low value again, and then we can just test again. Okay, so we're back here and now we want to set the resistance to basically zero. It's successful. And then we're going to quickly go back to the machine. And here we have it. And there we go. Quite easy to move. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching this video on how to connect and control a Bluetooth LE device using Linux on Ubuntu and the Bluetooth CTL command. Uh, would you like to leave a comment below? Remember to subscribe uh, and like the video. And uh, in the next one of the next videos, I'll be doing a little bit of uh, C Sharp uh, on the .NET, .NET Core uh, to do the exact same things from Linux.